find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem. Let's start with a bit of world news. Ukraine's military is allegedly using Clearview AI's facial recognition technology to uncover Russian assailants, combat misinformation and identify the dead. The US-based startup is reportedly providing free access to its powerful search engine to allow Ukraine authorities to screen for people of interest at checkpoints and safeguard their borders. Now, many companies from the West have come forward to help Ukraine by providing cyber security tools and other tech support in the last month. British chip designer Arm reportedly will drop around 1,000 of its employees. The tech giant employs around 6,400 people worldwide. The job cuts come just a month after the collapse of the company's $40 billion sale to NVIDIA. Now, Arm is pursuing a potential IPO according to Bloomberg. While Arm is headquartered in Cambridge, England, the company has been owned by Japanese tech giant SoftBank, which paid around $32 billion for the firm in 2016. Later in September 2020, SoftBank announced that it planned to sell Arm to US chip giant NVIDIA for $40 billion, but the deal was scrapped instead due to intense scrutiny from competition regulators in the US, EU, China and the UK. Niramai Health Analytics, the Bangalore-based deep tech healthcare company, received US FDA clearance for their first device called Smile 100 System. It is the first Indian company to get such a clearance pertaining to women's health. The Smile 100 system is a breast thermography device to review, measure and analyze thermally significant indications in the breast region. Niramai has been a pioneer in breast cancer screening with 26 granted international patents. Last year, the company announced European CE approval for their thermalytic solution and have already started pilots in multiple European countries. Currently, Niramai provides breast screening services across 19 cities. In India. Oracle Corporation announced its third quarter results for reporting a 4% increase in revenue to $10.5 billion for the fiscal year 2022. The computer technology company has forecasted higher revenues and profits. Oracle is relying heavily on its cloud segment having invested $4 billion capital to expand its number of data centers and improve its cloud services. Now, the company's cloud license and on-premium license were up by 1%. Wipro and Pandorum Technologies, a Bengaluru-based biotechnology company, have announced a long-term partnership to develop technologies that reduce the time to market period and improve patient outcomes during R&D and clinical trials of regenerative medicine. The partnership will use Wipro Home's AI platform and Pandorum's experience in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. Moving on to fundings and acquisitions. Data collaboration software provider Atlin has raised $50 million in its Series B funding round led by Salesforce Venture, Insight Partners and Sequoia Capital India. This has brought Atlin's total valuation up to $450 million. Now, the company plans to use the funding to expand their teams, advance product and engineering, and work on their market strategies. Atlin's valuation jumped by 4.5 times from its Series A funding around in May last year. Bengaluru-based enterprise tech startup Jiffy AI has raised $53 million as a part of its Series B funding. Jiffy plans to use these funds to push its marketing and sales efforts and it wants its automation platform. Jiffy is the brand name for Panani, the parent company that helps automate complex business processes using robotic process automation, natural language processing and no-code workflow management. Bengaluru-based MLOps startup Scribble Data has raised $2.2 million in seed funding led by Blue Ventures. Scribble plans to use the fresh capital to build a product roadmap and grow its presence in North American market. Now, the product roadmap includes a low-code consumption interface for teams to access and use features produced on the platform as well as additional apps that bring data teams closer to specific solutions like anti-money laundering, benchmarking, personalization, and recommendation among others. 
That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates.